lot of times I have people tell me things like, well, Tony, you know, you're successful in your life because, you know, after all, you're so motivated. I'm just lazy. I tell people, you're not lazy. You just have infinite goals. <laughs> what we want to do here is get some goals that will drive you, some goals that got some power behind them. And the way to do that, realize that right now you're about to create a real future that can make a major difference for you. That right now you're not just writing words down on a page. That even though you don't know how this is going to happen yet, that if you get something that you really want and you make it strong enough and you find strong enough reasons, you will find a way. I've done goal-setting workshops like this and seminars for years. And what's amazing is the kinds of results that people generate. I remember where a woman stood up and said, I want to set a major set of financial goals. And that's part of what we're going to do in this workshop. She said, I want to make $100,000 and I want it in the next seven weeks. The challenge I had when she said this was, hey, wait a second. I mean, seven weeks is too short a period of time. This woman has never made over $30,000 in a year in personal income. How in the heck is she going to make $100,000, especially when she has no plan? Now, while on the one hand, I'm not supportive of just setting goals arbitrarily like that, on the other hand, who am I to say what you're really capable of or not capable of? I think it's true that sometimes people set up goals that aren't realistic, meaning they really have no clue how it can be pulled off. But I also know that there's tremendous power if you get committed enough. And so as I started to tell this woman, well, maybe you ought to relook at your goal, she was so strong about it that I decided to just let her keep it. Who am I to stand in her way? And a good thing I didn't. Six and a half weeks later, she won the lottery and made exactly $100,000. Now, what's really interesting about this story is six months later, she came back to a seminar. And we talked about in the seminar what she had done. She set another goal that within six months this time, it wasn't quite as urgent, she'd make $150,000. Well, she made $200,000 again through a lottery. Now, I'm not suggesting set a bunch of lottery goals here by any stretch, and I'm not big on it. I don't buy lottery tickets. But I just want you to realize there may be a level of understanding about how to manifest goals that's beyond what you or I consciously understand. And this woman certainly was pretty good at it. She's not the only person. I shared her story one time, and a couple from Detroit listened to the story and got really inspired. And they just said, hey, as long as she can get this, why doesn't she ask for bigger numbers? We're going to do this thing, and we're going to make a million dollars. And I got to kind of grit my teeth. And I said, look, that's not what I told the story for. But they got so into it. And they followed all the instructions. They set their goals. They got strong enough wise. They created the pressure. And they did something else that I teach. And that is to make your goals so real. To get, once you know what your goals are, to make them so real in your mind that it feels as if you already have them. When you get to that level where your brain actually believes it's already happened, something clicks. And oftentimes, within a short period of time, that goal becomes realized. I mean, in physical situations, things start to happen. I know this sounds metaphysical, but all I can tell you is it's worked in my life and it's worked for other people. This couple went back and started telling people they'd won this lottery. And I kind of, quite honestly, got a little bit upset. They said, look, you said, make it real. It's so real for us now. I mean, we have a hard time distinguishing. And sure enough, they did not win the lottery two times in a row. But the third time they won, and they won over $1 million. Their story is pretty legendary in our alumni group in the Detroit area, and in fact, across the country. So I want you to know that people around them said they were nuts, but they understood the power of being able to create something first in our mind. Everything around you in your life right now started out at one time as a thought. I mean, think about it. What are some things that you have in your life right now? Some relationships, some people, some skills, some beliefs, maybe a job that once was nothing but a goal. You're in that same moment now of creation.